Open the multi-window tray below to open up a multi-window. You can choose an application you want to execute and open up to 16 applications. For example, I'm going to open S Planner, Gallery, and Video Players all at once. Every window is movable and its size is easily modifiable. Also, you can pin up the frequently used apps. And the pinned up windows are always in front, even when new windows are opened. Also, you can divide the screen into two through dual view and freely adjust the window size like this. If you choose a new app, it'll show up alternately. It's as simple as this when performing multiple tasks. Here's a new feature called AirView, where you can bring the S Pen over the screen to preview content without having to open it. Allow me to demonstrate in the S Planner. You can look in your schedule, and without having to open any appointment, you can hover over to get a preview of what's happening. You can also use AirView to preview emails. I'll go ahead and open my email account. Here, you can either see the subject, or the entire body of the email. Also, you can use AirView to view videos. Just click on the video gallery, and from the live video list, you can hover over a video, and it will start playing. Here again. Once you click into play, if you wish to move forward in the video, simply hover over the video timeline, and preview what's happening. There you go. Very simple. Lastly, you can use AirView to check the gallery. In my gallery, I have a number of albums with a lot of pictures. You can look through these albums and have a quick preview of what's inside. Easy Clip. It's gotten easier to capture and crop images to share or to store in a scrapbook for quick access. So here I'm going to go into the Samsung mobile site. I have a friend named Alex who's really into Samsung mobile products. So I've seen this Galaxy Note 10.1 image that I want to share with him. So I'm going to press down the button here, click freely around the edge. and then I'll have some options of where I can send this to. But I want to send a text message, so I'll click on Messaging. And from here, I can type in my friend, Alex. And just as quickly as that, I can now send him the message. Real easy. So let me show you another way you can use this feature called Easy Clip. I've been shopping around for clothes for my girlfriend. So let me open up this site. I think this would be a nice shirt for her. So again, I'll click on the S Pen button and trace right around the shirt like this. And then this time, instead of sending it, I'm going to open it up in Scrapbook. So now I can go into my S Notes. And then right down on my Scrapbook, where I've been storing all sorts of dresses and clothes I found for my girlfriend. So I'm just going to add a little star next to this one. Just like that, I've got another cool item for her. S-Note is a new application to create your own notebook to express your life's detail. Let me introduce nine templates for my own special S-Note. Note, Idea Note, Meeting Note, Magazine, Diary, Recipe, Travel, 
landscape note and memo. These will help you express your everyday life to easily match certain situations. When you flip a page, it will give you the feeling of flipping actual paper. You can add your own image or picture to S-Note and give special effects to them. Students can study using Note 10.1. It enables students to conveniently input data using Formula Match while taking notes in class. While taking notes, students can check and search information through Wolfram Alpha database and input them. Also, students can draw diagrams using ShapeMatch without a hassle and write conveniently with the handwriting recognition feature. It is a useful feature for students and office workers. It automatically corrects rough sketches of a diagram or lines. Also, by using Voice Memo, students can record lectures and review them. The Record Sketching feature enables you to record and check your writing process. You can freely record your ideas in details. You can preset the S Pen setting to suit your style. And use the setting conveniently with S Pen button. even pick up a color from an image to preset on your S Pen. Now, Let's take a look at an app called Paper Artist. As you can see right away, it's taken the form of a paper sketch. There are a number of different preset options. Some nice little templates. But actually, I want to open it up with the first one. And from here, I can use the S Pen to actually color in and bring the photograph to life. So, I'm going to color in some of these kids. And just like that, I'm turning an ordinary photo into a nice little piece of art. Post this on SNS and share it with friends. It's a nice keepsake for all of us. So this really shows what a creative tool the Galaxy Note 10.1 can be even for someone like myself who's not necessarily a great artist. Galaxy Note 10.1 is preloaded with Photoshop Touch. 
It costs $9.99 in Google Play Store, but Samsung's S Pen is embedded with this paid application. We used to use Photoshop on a PC, but now it's possible on the Galaxy Note 10.1. When you run Photoshop Touch, you can search up Google Database and choose a variety of images within the application. You can paint over the image using various pen effects that are selected from toolbars. Select Adjustment to adjust colors. And using effect, you can create a variety of styles. Putting all these basic features aside, even professional Adobe users will be satisfied of their amazing work done on a note, as if they were using Adobe on a PC. Also, you can upload it. Files worked on Note 10.1 using Photoshop Touch are easily downloadable into other devices through Adobe Creative Cloud. It is compatible with PC version of Photoshop or Illustrator. Fifteen tutorial modes are offered so that even beginners can easily learn and use Photoshop.